All right, we are here with UC Irvine uh, women's soccer head coach Scott Juniper, and to his right, our left, um, Mihaela Perez, and to his left, our right, is uh, Glow Hinojosa. Uh, coach, can you start us off with an opening statement, please? Wow, what a game. Uh, I've been coming in now for years and years and competing against uh, Long Beach State and Mauricio and his squad. Um, we knew we had to be really, really good to, to get anything out of the game today. And, and I think the way they played showed that. We had to work really, really hard. I thought we got off to a really good start. And then, as they always do, they adjusted really well and they forced us to find different solutions. Um, we just couldn't find a breakthrough. They had a chance to win it, I think. I think we probably had a few more. Um, and then, uh, you know, I mean, during the, during the 90 minutes, I thought, um, uh, Mahela here was a, was an absolute rock star alongside Kira Smingi. Uh, kept us in it a number of times, and then um, Glow does it again. You know, she did it for us 12 months ago, and uh, she just showed everyone how good she is today again. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Matt from the 562. Obviously, big rivalry here, black and blue rivalry. It's that for a reason. Um, you guys got them earlier this year, or it was a tie that earlier this year. Last year, you guys knocked them off. Just talk about this rivalry and what it means to you know. These are always close games, so I'll start with a uh, couple of um, Obviously, clean sheet, you know, they got one in PKs, but just talk about that and this, what it means to kind of go against these guys at their house. Uh, yeah. um, it's intimidating. They're a hard team, obviously. It always puts, puts us to our limits, and to um, compete with them is hard, and we keep it up every day, and coming out here just showing our, our talent and our strengths. Um. Uh, Glow, Mihaela, uh, you um, showed out this uh, Long Beach State team who's offensively capable. Uh, they have the Offensive Player of the Year, uh, Cherry Cox. How are you guys able to do it? Um, I think collectively we, our defensive line is really good at anticipating, uh, reading everything 100%, being disciplined, checking our shoulders. Our communication is very, is very good and it keeps on growing. So today we were just 100% sharp and for 90 minutes we have to keep that up. I think it's, we support each other, we have each other's back after. A tackle, we reinforce it, we want to win the ball all the time, we don't really like to have balls played in behind us, so it's just we, we try to put our foot on the pedal. Uh, last year uh, you guys won it all as a sixth seed, and then uh, you guys went on that uh, run in the NCAA championship. Uh, you guys feel kind of feeling the same kind of magic again? Um, I'm not sure there's any magic about it, honestly. it's uh, This team is um, this team and coaching staff, we're just about coming to work every day and, and, and grinding and, and, and getting better, being honest about when we're, when we're good and being honest about when we're not good and trying to fix everything we possibly can. And that's the process and uh, it turns out that if you continue to commit to that, you, you start to gather momentum at, at the end of the year and I think that's I think that's what this team's ready to do, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us starting with Fullerton on Thursday. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.